In this video, I lay out a detailed step-by-step -step roadmap that will take you from an absolute beginner to a robotics mechanical engineer. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Robot. I have a PhD in surgical robotics and I teach you how to become a robotics engineer in this channel. Here's what you're gonna get out of this video. You're gonna get an eight step roadmap that covers all the core skills that you can learn entirely online to go from a beginner level to a level you can apply for internships or even full-time jobs with robotics companies. So who is this video for? This video is for people who want to become a robotics mechanical engineer. If you want to become a robotics electrical engineer or a robotics software engineer, you can still watch this video to understand what robotics mechanical engineers do and what skills they need to have. If you want to become a robotics software engineer, please consider subscribing and stay tuned because in the next video, I'm going to lay out a step-by-step -step roadmap that will take you from a beginner to a robotics software engineer. Now, what does a robotics mechanical engineer actually do? That's a great question. Robotics mechanical engineers are mainly responsible for design of robot mechanisms, such as locomotion mechanism. They also design robot joints, robot arms, robot chassis, and all other mechanical parts of the robot. Mechanical engineers also are responsible for prototyping of different parts of the robot and assemble them together. Robotics mechanical engineers could also design and build test fixtures, perform mechanical tests on the robot to make sure that the robot meets all the design requirements. All right, now let's get right into the eight step roadmap that you all have been waiting for. Step number one, learn CAD. Not this CAD. As a robotics mechanical engineer, the first skill you need to learn is CAD. But what is CAD? CAD stands for Computer Aided Design and it's basically computer software that you can use to build an entire model of your robot. Once you're happy with your model, you can create 2D sketches and send it to your machine shop to realize your design. Enough, enough, Dr. Robot. I know what CAD is. Just tell me what CAD software I need to learn. Great question. The answer to your question is SOLIDWORKS. 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 SOLIDWORKS is widely used in the robotics industry and is the CAD software you need to learn. As I promised, I picked a couple of courses, a couple of online courses for you to learn SOLIDWORKS. And please, from this point on, refer to the description section for the links to all the online courses and all the online resources I'll be talking about throughout this video. So another skill that goes hand in hand with CAD and SOLIDWORKS is GDNT, geometric, 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 geometric dimensioning and tolerances. But what is GDNT and why you need to learn GDNT? Let me give you a simple example. So let's say you design a shaft with a nominal diameter of 10 millimeters. It's gonna be super difficult for your machinist to turn down the shaft to 10 millimeters true diameter. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to give him a range. That range is called tolerances. So to summarize, the first skill, the first step for you to learn would be SOLIDWORKS and GDNT. Step number two, learn math. When it comes to math as a robotics and mechanical engineer, you do not need to learn a whole lot of math. You pretty much just need to learn linear algebra. The main reason is matrices and vectors are used a lot in robotics, especially in robot kinematics, which we'll talk about towards the end of this video. So I have selected a good course that will teach you matrix algebra and the math you need for robotics and mechanical engineering and nothing more. Run. Uh, 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 uh. In addition to linear algebra, you also need to learn MATLAB, and here's why. MATLAB is a great tool when it comes to matrix operation, and it has a lot of toolboxes, such as robotics toolbox and control toolbox that you can use to develop concepts and to show proof of concepts, to do simulation, and to do testing. Please refer to the description section. I got it, Dr. Robot. Stop saying it. The links to all online courses are in the description section. Step number three, learn a programming language. Generally speaking, robotics mechanical engineers do not need to be an expert in coding. 
But you need to learn at least one programming language to be able to show proof of concept for your design, build test fixtures, and gather data to verify your design. Besides, knowledge of programming language will make you stand out from your peers. Now, the question is, what programming language do you need to learn? The answer is C. C is used to talk to hardware and low-level electronics. It's easy to learn and can be used to program an Arduino board, which can be used to rapid prototype robot ideas and build test fixture. I have a very good online course for you that you can take to learn C. And then by now, you know where to find the link to the online course. But Dr. Robot, I've heard that I need to learn Python, ROS, and C++. Is that true? Well, the answer to that question is beyond the scope of this video, but lucky for you, I have created another video that answers that question. Please refer to the link above or down below in the description section. Help me! Help me! Step four, learn how to design robot mechanisms and mechanical elements of a robot. A robot is composed of different mechanisms and mechanical elements. Parts like joints, gears, brakes, bearings, springs, and many more. As a robotics mechanical engineer, you need to know how to design, prototype, build, test, and assemble these elements. So you need to take two courses, engineering mechanics or statics and machine design. I have listed two courses and a couple of books that you can use to learn these fundamental concepts in mechanical engineering. However, not all the concepts are needed for robotics. For example, you do not need to know how to design a thin wall pressure vessel, right? Nope. So to make it simple for you, I have specified the concepts that apply to robotics for each book or online course. Step number five, learn hydraulics and pneumatics. You probably have seen the amazing robots that Festo, the German company, has built. The majority of their animal robots and their robot hands are entirely fluid powered. Soft robotics is a subfield of robotics that is growing in popularity. Soft robots are mainly bio-inspired and are driven using fluid power in forms of hydraulic or pneumatics. But unfortunately, not a lot of universities or not so many colleges offer a course that will teach you hydraulics or pneumatics. But luckily, there are a lot of online resources. There are some online courses that you can take to learn hydraulics and pneumatics. The next three steps are core robotics skills or courses, so pay a special attention. Step number six, learn mechatronics. But what the face is mechatronics? Mechatronics is a combination of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and computer engineering. A robot is a mechatronic system because it includes aspects of electronics, mechanics, and computing to accomplish a task. Here are the fundamental concepts you need to learn. Circuits and electrical components, microcontroller, sensors, and DC motors and servos. Speaking of electronics and mechatronics, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. As I said before, a robot is a mechatronic system. When you design a robot, you will need to design circuit boards and have your circuit boards printed. Here's where JLC PCB can help and print your boards. Let me show you how you can easily place an order for your PCB for as low as $2. Just head over to jlcpcb.com, register or sign in, then click order now, then select add your garber file, browse and select your garber file, wait until your garber file is processed. Once it's processed, it automatically detects your board size, number of layers and other information. Choose the quantity you need. You can merge multiple boards into a panel and you can also change the color of your board if you want to. Once you're happy with everything, just click save to cart. Once it's added, you can view your board one more time and then simply check out just like you would do on any other e-commerce website. Step number seven, learn kinematics. But first, what is robot kinematics? Let me give you a simple example. Let's say you have a robot arm that has two joints and each joint is at a specific angle. Now, can we calculate where in a space is the tip of the robot? This is what forward kinematics will answer. Now, what if we have the exact opposite situation, meaning we want the tip of the robot to go to a specific position to grab an object. What joint angles do we need to give the robot to go to that position? 
This question will be answered by inverse kinematics. In summary, there are three concepts that you need to learn in kinematics. Coordinate transformation, forward kinematics, and inverse kinematics. As I mentioned before, in robot kinematics, you deal with vectors and matrices. And that's why you need to complete a step two to learn linear algebra and MATLAB. A step eight and the last step, learn control system design. You probably have seen Boston Dynamics Atlas robot self-balancing itself while it's beaten by a cruel human being. This self-balancing effort is implemented using control system principle. The most common type of controller that is used in the industry is PID controllers. So spend more time in PID controller lessons of the online courses I selected for you. I'd highly recommend you do some hands-on project using PID controllers. A must-do project is implementing a position control for a DC motor using PID and PWM. Congratulations, you made it so far. So to thank you for watching the entire video, I'm offering you a free 20 minute phone coaching session. Just email me with subject robotics mechanical engineer and I will schedule your free session. Thank you very much for watching this video and please consider subscribing and smash the beautiful like button and uh, I'll see you in the next video.